Well, as you can see, when I welded, I tacked both sides, but when I started my weld, I started to creep up on this side. I've got a good weld here, but there's a gap on this side, leaving a whole bunch of slag that either has to be chipped out um, or ground out. When you're doing structural steel, you cannot grind. You can only use a wire wheel. So more than likely, this will come out as porosity, and it's going to give you a weak weld, especially if they x-ray it. So we're going to try again and see if I can't get the bead right down the center. But this is not good. You don't want to creep up on one side. As I got back towards the center and then came in and filled, this is okay. But you don't want to have the porosity on one corner. It's just going to cause a bad weld and it's going to fail. So you can look at this root pass and see that it's uh, pretty uniform right down the center. There are a few uh, impurities right here. You can see that there's a little bit of slag in this corner. A tiny bit here and a slight bit of slag here. Those are something that you want to take a little chisel or pick and pick out the uh, impurities here because it will weaken your weld. Um, at some point you'll be able to do a weld without any of this but this is okay. You can pick it out and then do your cover pass with your 70 18 8 inch and have a good quality weld. Your backing plate is stuck to your material. See the backing plate is not moving. So you'll have to uh, take a chisel and knock the backing plate off, but that means you've got good penetration all the way through on your root weld. After you've made your weld, you really need to look at penetration through your material. So you have full penetration here. You can see that the weld has started to come through to the bottom and put the two pieces together fully. As you look across, you can see there's not any penetration towards the center all the way down to the bottom of this weld. It started to come through here. But this is ideal. This is what you want. Full penetration all the way through your weld.